What's going on folks, it's Dr. Dragon Kick, and not a pack opening video today, but instead I'm gonna let you in on a little hobby that I do in addition to magic, which is gold and silver type set collecting, in particular post-colonial uh, coins, but pre-33. So this is a United States gold type set book uh, published by the Whitman Company, and in the coin world you can collect many things. Uh, a lot of people will pick a particular denomination, like a U.S. quarter or the um, silver dollar or a penny, and then they'll try to get one copy of each coin and each mint mark from a span of time. Now in typeset collecting, what we're trying to do is just get one copy of each design of coin over a span of time. So each one copy of each type of coin over a span of time. Um, here you can see $1 denominated coins. These are $2.50. We even have a $3 U.S. gold coin five dollar us gold coins and then moving to the second page here we got some ten dollar coins which are getting larger in size more gold content and then twenty dollar coins including this saint gaudens which is uh, arguably the most beautiful and famous of all the us coins so this book i'm trying to fill out in a state of coin that are called almost uncirculated to mint state coins in the magic world that'd be bgs uh, eight and a half to uh, ten coins. In the coin world, I'm looking at AU55 to MS70 coins, uh, which, you know, at that MS70 for how old these are, that would almost be impossible. But today I'm going to focus on this Liberty uh, dollar coin. Now, this is the first and smallest in circumference of coin. Uh, this was from 1849, minted from 1849 to 1854. And there are a good amount of copies of different years. I think 1853 had like 4 million. Um, this is an 1852 coin, so it's a lot more rare. And um, we'll talk a little bit about it. So in 1849, if you go back in history, there was the California gold rush taking place. And essentially, there was a huge influx of gold that came to the U.S. Mint. So the Mint decided to come out with two new denominations, a $1 denomination and then a honking $20 denomination, which is almost a full ounce of gold. The $1 denominations, they would, they would eventually come in three different types. They'd come in the first type on the top, the Liberty head. Then they would come into the type 2 princess head with a small head, like a skinnier neck. And then this type 3 princess head with a thicker neck. Um, all of them have Liberty in the coronet, or in this case, their headdresses because they're Indians and um, sometimes it's hard to see, especially because they're so small and I can't focus. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna focus on this first Liberty head. I will say that if you put them side by side, you can notice that um, without doing any like angles or having one higher than the other, the, the type two and three seem to be larger than the type one by a little bit. Um, they are actually the same amount of gold there's 1.7 ounces, I mean, 1.7 ounces, 1.7 grams of gold in each one. The type one is a little bit thicker than the type two and type three. That's why the circumference is, is smaller. So there is 0.90 fineness of the gold. That means there is 10% copper, um, other alloy, palladium, silver, whatever it is. Generally when it's full copper, you're gonna see a rosy color. These are relatively goldy, so they have some type of whitening agent in there. So a little bit about the coins. Additionally, they are reeded. Back in the day, uh, there was problems with people whittling them down. You could take gold to the mint and they would mint coins for you. And um, so you, you know, by keeping them reeded, you could keep people from whittling down little pieces of gold, just slivers of gold and silver. And people have been doing that for thousands of years. So that wasn't anything new. Um, this particular coin, there are a couple varieties to, to look out for. So the first thing you might notice on the back, there is a wreath, and the wreath, um, in this case, looks like it almost touches that one dollar at the top. Some of the wreaths are what are called open wreaths, and um, you can see the word America and the word United. The wreath might only go up to about the D and the A on the other side, and that's just called an open wreath. Um, the premiums are dependent on a lot of things. So, um, Philadelphia was the main mint of these coins. However, Charlotte, Dahlonega, New Orleans, and even in 1854, the last year, there was some San Francisco minted Liberty heads. 
So it was, it was a lot of different mints um, made these coins. And some of those old mints, New Orleans, Charlotte, and Dalnega, those were all shut down during the Confederate, um, during the, uh, well, it was Confederate like land, so it was shut down during the Civil War. And so you'll, you'll find that people prefer those type of coins and they can get quite pricey. Um, what else to say about this coin? So the other thing, in addition to the open wreaths, um, the first year there's an there's an L and a no L variety. You can look what I'm talking about for that. But some of the fives are minted. Let's see if I can zoom in on this one. Um, some of the fives are just hold it steady there are like slanted compared to the other numbers. So this one's like a little more slanted. They're slanted and they're upright. Um, not sure how much of a difference in premium they have. I will show on my Type 3. I have a copy of both of them. But in the end, with this coin, how small it is, the things that matter are the details here. Um, so the stars, you know, you got 13 stars for the original 13 colonies. You have a, a good hair. Like, you can see many different waves in her hair. The top of this one, you could see, should have a little bit more, but it's not a perfect coin. Um, it looks like it was actually struck through a little bit near the nose because it kind of like has a little bubble uh, But overall this is an X XF to an AU coin um, Likely cleaned but we will talk about that later. So the back It is probably more XF. There can be a little bit more details and it certainly looks like it's got a little bit of uh, cleaning So it's just punched hard because you can kind of see the outline of the head it comes through it on the the other side but um yeah if you got if you like this type of thing definitely subscribe i'm going to make a, a video for each of the coins in this gold type set and talk over the varieties um if you got questions i love talking about it and researching so if you need uh support on things like definitely let me know um and then if you like just the pack videos for magic i'm going to be putting those out there will still come once in a while but there will be about 20 of these gold old videos. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed, learned a little bit, take good care, till next time. Almost forgot the most important part is uh, putting it inside of the book. Okay, and that is the first in the series. More to come.